So it comes with a granola yogurt, and you've got salad, possibly with peeled carrot, some potatoes and bacon, and then in your sandwich, you've got egg, bacon, tomato, salad, mm. and cheese. Looks nice. It does look nice. Mm. It's like a multi seed bread. It's mm. quite tasty. Mm. We think that this map is pretty accurate. In terms of where you can get different food products around the pilot. Mm. So the ramen is Sapporo, mm. and the squid is Hakodate, mm. and the sea urchin is Otari. Mm. I like that Nijo market to see what sort of seafood they have. Yeah, this is some. <laughs> That's whale meat. Whale bacon, this is. Oh, does it? We got two oysters and one scallop to share. We're eating in the middle of the shop. <laughs> I just got shell on my hand. <laughs> so I like ripping off. Yeah. 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 And then what? Just like into my mouth. Kind of swallow it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah. 
So creamy. Mm. Very tasty. I think mean, this is fresh. Mm. What's it taste like? Mm. It's not fishy or anything. It's like. Huh? Oh, it's so hard to describe. Maybe like a bit scallop. Like a creamy scallop. Yes, creamy scallop. Uh, I can't describe it. I think you have to try mm. on your own. It's so good. Mmm. This is like the octopus. Mmm. Texture was yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in a good way, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the edge that attaches it to the shell. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, kind of almost crunchy. Very firm, crunchy. Yeah. Who's coming? Who's coming? Who's coming? Who's coming? I wouldn't know it's the bat is mm. the clam. Mm. Okay. The reason the edge is chewy is because that's the muscle that holds it connected to its shell. Mm. So it doesn't blow out. Mm, makes sense, yeah. Can you see the layers, the lines? It's got ridges, so it's got different layers in the... Oh, sorry. It's okay. Like this way. Yeah, yeah. ridges run along it. Mm. Um, I've just eaten one, mm. and it tasted very subtle and very creamy, mm. with a slight kind of bouncy texture. Mm. Um, firmer than the o oyster. Yeah, yeah. Firmer than the oyster. Mm. Very satisfying. Mm. I would I rec recommend it. I don't normally like seafood. But mm. I really like mm. how bouncy and creamy. Yeah. It's very creamy. Mm. Oshikatta. Oshikatta. It was tasty. Otate <laughs> scallops. We highly recommend this place. We ordered two more um clam. Clam I would say. Yeah. Called the shirogai, like white clam. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Definitely different texture. It looks almost like squid texture, is it? Is it like squid? Mm. But not as hard as squid. Oh. It's more like a bake texture was it's a bit like bacon I think. But it has a bite to it and it's not it's not hard. Maybe far mm. but mm. <laughs> 
Very sweet. Ah, yes. Sweet. Very sweet. Mm, I agree. Slightly firm. Mm. But softer than the scallop. Pink shell. Yeah, it's pretty. Yubari melon. So it's a sweet melon with an orange flesh inside. We got some hot milk. Hokkaido milk, I believe. Wow, hot. Yes, it's nice. There's a huge bell in the middle of the street. Hokkai no Sea Temple. Ah, and more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Phoenix and some hot. Next destination, Sake Museum. It says Chitose Tsuru o Zuru, Sapporo's local sake. Welcomed by sake barrels. This is water specific for making sake. And you can try it. It's beautiful. Oh, that's good. So it shows us the process of sake making in a miniature version.
probably a bag for some table to use. Plum one. That explains how sake is made. First two characters uh, means thousand years, and the third one means a crane. A crane is supposed to be able to live, or we believe that they can live for thousand years. So it's a symbol of good luck. <laughs> this looks a in this one. Junmai Ginjo. So this is ice cream, um, sake kasu ice cream. Sake kasu is a leftover um, while making sake. Yes, yeah, so it's like the fermented rice grains after you've produced the sake and drained the sake out. Yeah. flavor of sake and then taste them I can taste and smell some rice I think he has got a really strong taste not like artificial like flavor or anything 
because um, they use the leftover um, from the second making process. It's quite sweet and then um, yeah, oh, it, it's really nice. Mm. The leftover bit itself doesn't have any alcohol, but feels like and it tastes like I am having some like a sake, drinking sake. Mm. Really nice. Not overly sweet or anything. It's really nice. Mm. What does it taste like? Well, I mainly get the, the taste of the, the creaminess of the milk. Mm. With an afternote of the kind of reminder of sake. Mm. Yeah, I thought they agree with you. It's like a hint. How are you, Chuba? <laughs> Quite drunk. Because we tasted um, uh, that sake specific, uh, the limited version of. Oh, I can't even talk. Limited sake uh, to this museum. And that was 17%, the alcohol rate, which we found out later. Oh my god, I've got this. But it was worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. It was delicious, but the splitting headache from that like we only sipped like this much each but I obviously have no or low in low tolerance God. I'm ready to go to sleep oh. this is museum limited sake and the name of the sake is Shibata Kojiemo, who is uh, the founder of this brewery. Can you say this? The pattern on this one is an abstract design of a crane mm. using calligraphy. Mm. So you can see the red and the black mm. pay homage to the colours of the crane. Mm. It's beautiful. This one is so beautiful, it says got sake. So maybe use for the offering potentially. It's supposed to be warm winter this year. <laughs> it's about Free, yeah, it's free. five degrees today. Yeah. Maybe five, four degrees more. Mm, it's freezing cold. And we are expecting a bit of snow towards the end of the week, I think. Yeah, if it's this cold when it's not snowing. What will be like? Oh, <laughs> Hokkaido Taisha or Ground Shrine.
all the different amulets you can get here. Even Hello Kitty and Relax Kuma. Relax Kuma is a play on word. Relax. Uh, Kuma, bear. Relax Kuma. Sapo factory which now has got lots of shops inside. Lots of food choices. And this former factory. This is Sapo beer. Brewery Um, it's a tomato sauce gratin with prawns and uh, some rice underneath. Yeah, shrimp and rice. Yeah. It's called a doria. Doria, yeah. Which means like, ah, ah, convenient. Like Heinz tomato soup on rice. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's a convenience store quality. I knew it. It's yeah, just a fine. yeah. It's just a quick bite, basically, because we didn't want to really stop and eat properly. So this is just emergency food from a convenience store. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Then. KFC in Japan. It's the Colonel in Santa outfit. These coffees are hot, as if they are warm. This one is really warm. Lovely map. There's some sightseeing spots.
TV crew by the former Hokkaido government office. There's a statue of Matsura. He's from a clan in Hokkaido. Mm. It's Hokkaido's 150th anniversary in 2018. This might be about Ainu people, indigenous um, people from Hokkaido. This logo is everywhere in this building. Um, these islands on the left are the disputed islands. And they've got this signature campaign to try to take them back uh, from Russia. And this is a booth to sign the petition. And that shows the different areas of Ainu settlement. Mm -hmm and how they relate to each other. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you've got Hokkaido and these northern territories sharing a link, mm -hmm. possibly Shakalin sharing a link, this being a bit different group of culture, and these islands being a separate culture as well. Mm -hmm. And you've got separate groups, which this doesn't indicate in here, in the you know, Siberia area and around different communities. These are tools made and used by Ainu people. They were used for fishing, hunting, and other daily activities. It was ladies' tasks to curve hooks and make balls, and that's a chopping board. And it was men's job to make tools for fishing. These are some examples of Ainu clothing and footwear. Um, and one of the belts shows some coins have been stitched on. And so what one of the displays said is the Ainu used to trade with um, other communities to obtain coins and silk and iron tools, including weapons um, and lacquer. This looks like a selection of the items that they would trade for, including iron swords, lacquerware, and textiles. These show the interaction between Ainu and Japanese. It shows a trade between Ainu and Japanese. Ainu people wanted lacquer, and then um, Japanese people wanted animal skins. It's a bit of trade. Huh? 
the Ainu have a animist religion, so they believe in that there are spirits in plants and animals and natural things, as well as items produced by people, and that they've got a purpose sent by God. Um, and this is an example of one of their ceremonies giving thanks to God for these things. No exception. Part of it has changed under its disruptive history. Part has survived without any change. The Marino Festival of Lake Khan in eastern Hokkaido started in 1950 as a gesture of thanksgiving to Marino which are green spherical balls of algae. Now it has become a firmly rooted annual event of the area. However, contemporary Ainu people are coming to terms with the task of inheriting and conserving their own unique culture with pride. Culture is a living culture that changes with the times. This is a traditional pattern of Aino stitching. are made of various plants and um, animal skins. This one is made of tree bark. Wood carved salmon. So in 1899, the Hokkaido Former Aborigines Protection Act was promulgated. This law aimed to assimilate the Ainu for education and by turning them into farmers. Its underlying premise was to benevolently protect the weak, and it clearly lacked any perspective on ethnic rights or acknowledgement that Ainu destitution was a result of the development policy itself. Over time, the Ainu have developed an ethnic consciousness, and uh, there has been a movement to restore their indigenous rights, and a new law was passed in 1997 by the Japanese parliament called the Act for the Promotion of Ainu Culture, which has uh, now supports Ainu culture. Back at support station. So, interesting department store, gas lamps, and then kind of these columns. It's very nice. Says, did you have breakfast this morning? Mm, maybe not. And this, <laughs> what does it say? Watching you. <laughs> Watching you. It's very true. I don't think so. Thank you for your help. They're cooking some or grilling some Hokkaido pork. This store is dedicated to omelettes. And then you've got bacon sauce and curry sauce. Mm. Oh my goodness. They basically toss omelettes like crazy. So I ordered this one. Um, crab cream croquet with some curry sauce. And he got this one. Demigrass sauce and then double cheese and it has got some ketchup rice inside unfortunately it looks a bit dry and then they 
kind of burns the edge, I think. Pops, you know? Yeah, pops the, yeah. Oh, wow. It looks better. I think um, omelette is quite soft. And um, I think his is a little bit dry. And it's not then the, mm, Let's see if it. No. It's supposed to break like. Oh, a little uh, bit. It's, it's got a little bit. Like, ah, uh, but you have to kind of force it. It's not gonna. No. Ah, uh, that's a bit disappointing. Disappointing. Mm, oh well. Well, basically, you have to look up a really good place. Yeah. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, we don't have a knife. You could use a spoon. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. So, club cream croquette. This might be quite nice. I don't know if I can taste crab, but mm. yeah, it's quite nice. It's not very hot. It's like lukewarm. Hmm. We are not. Mm, we are not happy bunnies. to make up for the horrible omelette rice we had. We got some cookies. Mm. This one, this box has got two slices of cakes. One is a cheesecake that um, my husband knows, but I got the second one as a surprise. Mm. What's in this box? We agreed to get the Hokkaido cheesecake mm. because we're in Hokkaido, mm -hmm. so might as well. Yeah. These are also Hokkaido specialities, as Mika said. Mm. This is the butter biscuit with sweetened cream and rum raisin. Yeah. And this is a chocolate sandwich, mm. which says something like it's snowing like Christmas. Mm. Um, we've got some hojicha yeah. tea, which we're going to have with the biscuits to try yeah. and justify them. <laughs> and so there's two items in here. Mm. One is the cheesecake, the other is a mystery item. Mm. I'm going to guess yeah. that because we were talking about what Japanese do for Christmas, mm. which, don't know, they go to KFC, mm. that's the theme, go to KFC and also have strawberry shortcake, which is kind of like their Christmas cake. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's cheesecake and strawberry shortcake, but I could be wrong. Mm. So we're going to find out. Let's, yeah, let's find out. And luckily, we found that I had a fork, which I accidentally brought in my bag from home. Yeah. Um, and I went through the airport, so that's all fine. And now we have a fork because yeah. we didn't get given a fork, so that's good. <laughs> wow. You guys can see. So what is this? Can you tell? Oh. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just padding. So we've got the. Cheesecakey. Yeah. And we have like what looks like a chestnut. Yeah. Like sweet chestnut mm. cake. And it looks kind of cream and cocoa powder. Mm. Maybe custard? I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. Maybe like a tiramisu cake with chestnut. I think it's called Momburan. So it's like it's a chestnut thing, like a chestnut cream. Um, not squeezed, but uh, how would you call that? Like a piped. Piped. That's the mm. word, and it's hojicha flavored apparently. Mm. So that should go with hojicha flavored chestnut. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So let's find out. Like that. 
So the cheesecake has got some cranberries. And this one, hmm, some chocolate layers. Very nice. Mm. So it's a baked cheesecake. Mm. I might try this. I think it may have lemon in it. Mm. Possibly. Hmm. It's a very nice creamy kind of citrusy cheesecake. Mm, that's Maybe settle more citrus. And then mm. You've just got like a sweet pastry base, I think. Mm. And like I said, you've got the cranberry. Mm. Yeah, I think it's nice. Mm. This one is so pretty. The chestnut's really lovely. Mm. Can you taste hojicha in any of the layers though? It might be in this layer, so I have mm. to try the layer on its own. Mm. I think I do get a slight roasted flavour. Mm. It's not in the pastry. Mm. I can taste the hojicha in the hojicha tea. <laughs> Mmm, I do like Mont Blanc. Is this a piece of card or is that um... Nah, that's not edible. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't. I think it's in the cream. Um, I think it's in the cream. Mm. I still can't um, taste whole but this itself is really really nice it's not <clears throat> oh this tastes like it's um chestnut mm. this paste yeah 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 usually that's um what mom lines are like yeah. it's not overly sweet or anything yes, so I, I really think you, i can't get it at all no 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 no, no. we can't taste hojicha at all. But it's a nice cake. So. Mm, but it's really nice cake. I, I really enjoyed it. Mm.